the pickup truck. Pickup trucks are quintessentially American. Like apple pies and guns, when you think of the pickup truck, you might think of America. And it makes sense, right? Because America generally has wide roads, cheap fuel, and plenty of parking spaces for these behemoths. In fact, last year in 2020, the top three best-selling vehicles in the United States were pickup trucks. I've seen that the popularity of pickup trucks in the United States is growing exponentially, but what I'm surprised to see is that it's also growing here in the Netherlands. When I moved to Amsterdam two years ago, I never thought I'd see another large American pickup truck on the streets. I've been surprised to see so many imported American trucks here in the Netherlands. Over the past two years that I've been living here, I've been fascinated with the obsession of some Dutch drivers to own large American pickup trucks like the Ram 1500, Ford F-150, or other similar American market trucks. Now in some cases I can tell that these are trucks that have been imported by somebody who's moved here, but in most cases these are trucks that are owned by local Dutch people and are part of their daily use. These trucks generally aren't sold here by manufacturers such as Ford or Ram. So what's going on? Why are there so many American pickup trucks here in the Netherlands? Why would a Dutch person who drives on narrow roadways and city streets want to own such a large truck that is designed for wide North American roads? This is the question I've been asking myself for the past two years. And I've done a bit of research and here are my thoughts, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Aside from the trucks that have been imported by people who've moved here, the main reason that you see American trucks in the Netherlands is because they're owned by entrepreneurs under the gray license plate scheme. There are significant tax advantages for people registering these trucks under the gray license plate scheme, especially if you're a business owner in the Netherlands. You avoid the BPM tax, which is one of the largest taxes on vehicles because it's based on their CO2 emissions. And if you think about most American trucks, they have large V8 engines, which produces a lot of CO2 emissions. The BPM tax for these trucks can be as high as 70 to 80,000 euros alone just for the tax, for the BPM tax. That's on top of the cost of importing a truck and the VAT associated with the, the truck's price. However, for business owners, for entrepreneurs, they don't have to pay this BPM tax. Also, there's a quarterly road tax for trucks under the gray license plate scheme, and it's significantly lower than if somebody were to own these trucks privately. Under this gray license plate, the trucks are considered business vehicles or delivery vans, and they're classified differently from private ownership. So when you look at the cost from a business ownership perspective, it's quite advantageous considering what you get. Additionally, many of the pickup trucks that you see on the roads in the Netherlands or in Europe in general have been converted to buy fuel. So they can run petroleum gasoline or LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. In Europe, and especially in the Netherlands, LPG is significantly cheaper than petroleum. Currently, the average price for petroleum gasoline is around 1 euro 70 cents per liter, whereas the price for LPG is less than half of that, around 80 cents per liter, depending where you are. Furthermore, as I mentioned before, these trucks are a good value from a business ownership perspective, considering their capability and what you get for the money. These trucks are larger and more capable than European spec trucks like the Ford Ranger or Mercedes X-Class. The American trucks can tow more, have more payload capacity, and yet still comfortably seat five adults. And more recently, modern American pickup trucks have essentially become luxury vehicles. The interiors are much nicer, they come with the latest tech and safety features. These trucks are competing with luxury brands. So all things considered, owning an American pickup truck in the Netherlands is quite advantageous versus owning a typical European truck or delivery van, especially if you're a business owner. If you live outside of cities and in rural areas, the size of the truck probably isn't a significant issue for you. Even though the roads are smaller in Europe compared to what North American trucks are designed for, it's probably livable to use these trucks daily if you live in more rural areas. What I'm really surprised to see is people driving these and owning these in Dutch cities like Amsterdam. Parking spaces are also very com compact. They can barely fit European vehicles. So I'm surprised to see people squeezing these large trucks into tiny parking spaces, but they do it. To me, there's something unique also about owning one of these large trucks here in Europe. They stand out more than like even a Ferrari or Lamborghini because they're so unique they are so large, they're not typically seen, um, and I think there's something about their uniqueness and rarity that uh, makes them stand out on European streets. I don't think the American truck ownership trend will be a norm by any means. I think it's something that's still unique and, and rare, but it's still something pretty cool to see, especially as an American living in the Netherlands. I'm surprised to see the fascination with these American trucks. I've also seen American trucks in Germany and Belgium, but what are the regulations there? Let me know in the comments below if you're from another European country with American pickup trucks. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.